CBS 4's Carly Barnett has been following this story since it first broke on Monday, and she joins us live from Jackson Memorial Hospital tonight. Carly. Lauren Elliott, this certainly is not the update that we wanted to deliver tonight, but since being shot Monday, law enforcement officers and the community are now mourning the loss of Detective Cesar H. Averi. Miami-Dade Police Detective Cesar H. Averi died Wednesday night. He was only 29 years old. Police Director Freddie Ramirez made the announcement on Twitter saying, it is with great sadness and with heavy hearts that we announce the untimely passing of Officer Cesar or Echi H. Averi. Surrounded by loved ones, Echi succumbed to his injuries after a brief battle for his life. Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava also issued a statement saying in part, he laid down his life to stop a violent criminal and we will be forever grateful for his selfless service and sacrifice to our community. Detective H. Averi had been with the Miami-Dade Police Department five years and was part of their robbery intervention detail. Investigators say he was shot Monday near the intersection of Northwest 62nd Street and 7th Avenue in Miami when they attempted to pull over suspects allegedly involved in an armed robbery in Dania Beach. They say the suspect began to strike detectives' cars trying to get away. Shots were fired, killing suspect Jeremy Willie Horton and gravely wounding H. Averi. The last Miami-Dade officers to die in a shootout with a suspect were detectives Amanda Hayworth and Roger Castillo. They were shot and killed in 2011 when trying to arrest a fugitive. That shooting was only about half a mile from where H. Averi was shot. Wednesday night, law enforcement officers from different agencies made their way to the hospital and parked outside Ryder Trauma Center showing their support. We are told by Miami-Dade police that there will be an honor guard. That's where law enforcement officers will form a line from the hospital to the medical examiner's office when his body is transferred. However, they do tell us that will not be tonight. According to police, the two suspects that were involved in the armed robbery that set off this whole chain of events were both shot and killed by police. Live outside of Jackson Memorial Hospital, Carly Barnett, CBS4 News Tonight.